All right, number two, uh, we want to find the number of elements in A union B. Okay, so let me show you the definition of A union B. Uh, A, let's do this, number of elements in A union B. And I should not put a tail on there, sorry. It's a U shape. A union B, number of elements. That is equal to the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B minus the number of elements in A intersect B. <clears throat> now we will use uh, this formula uh, when we don't see the Venn diagram uh, in such a way that uh, the parts of A and B overlapping, we can't tell which one is which. So, here's why this formula has come about. A union B Let me do a pencil so I can erase it and you'll be able to see it. I can do a pen, it doesn't matter. Um, this is A, this is B. Now, A is split up into two parts. There's the part of A by itself, and then there's a part of A that overlaps with B. So this part by itself, and then this part that overlaps with B. So when I count A, I'm counting this and this, because A is kind of split into two pieces. So all of this is A. When we count B, we count this, and also B overlaps here, so we count this middle piece twice. So the fact that we've counted this twice means we need to take it away one time. So A intersect B, when we take it away once, then we have counted one, one, and one. So that's why that formula has come about. Um, and that's usually when we don't, we can't tell if the intersection has been taken away or not. Uh, so in this case, number of elements in A, we get nine. Number of elements in B, we get 14. Number of elements in A intersect B is 7. So when we do this math, we get 16. Okay. So there's two ways this Venn diagram can be drawn. Uh, this is the way. This first way is the way that uses the formula. So we would have here, here. The intersection is uh, 7, uh, B is 14, and A is 9. Now this is one way. Now the better way to draw it is to take, start in the middle and take this 7 to where you don't have to deal with this, you just add up across. The better way to do that would be to take, start in the middle, you get 7. Now this 7 is a part of B and, and A. So you're going to take 7 away from those parts already. So if you take B, take away 7 from this 14, that leaves you 7. Adding 7 plus 7, giving you a total of 14 for B. And then you do the same thing for A. You're going to take 7 away from this 9, and that will give you 2. Leaving you 7 plus 2, giving you 9 total elements in A. So this is a better way to draw it. That way you can just add straight across 7. 7 is 14, plus 2 is 16. Uh, but either one works, okay? So you get 16 in A union B.